the last uh, the last podcast, I was actually rushing off to go and ride with Matt Jones. It, it was super yeah. sick. When you get yeah. an invite to go and ride at the playground or at the um, compound, I'm always like, fucking hell, that's well up for that. Mm. So mm. I rushed off straight away, turned up to the airbag. I've never been on an airbag, right? This is the, okay. the Matt Jones airbag. This is where he's learned everything, you know? It's like... So you rode compound, then playground? Rode... Yeah, it was windy at the playground when I arrived. Then we went to the... the then we went to the you compound. got a few runs in there at the playground, right? Did. Did indeed. Did get a few, did get a few got runs Got a load, load of runs. That's... Yeah, that, but but we, we start the story at the compound because it's funny. Oh, actually. sorry. Okay. My bad. <laughs> I went, right? Back to the 36-year-old guy... I, I'm just a 36 year old guy that's wants to learn flat spins. All right. Okay. So yeah. I'm going to include, so, so I'm going to include, I'm going to send you the clip. All right. Yeah. I, uh, first run backflip. I've never landed on a bouncy castle. I got dared to do a backflip first run, did a backflip first run, landed on a bouncy castle. It's kind of weird where you land, where your wheels are. So on dirt, you, you plan rotation so that you impact the dirt at the, you, you know what I mean? Mm. On a bouncy castle, the actual, your wheels sink in so it's not real so where you okay. see the ground you can you could like nose dive into it and then still ride out if you see what i mean uh, i guess because i guess it comes up to meet you in a weird yeah tandem. exactly it's weird yeah, yeah it's weird because the air comes up so all you, of it's it all, weird yeah. i only have i by the way i only have an exp i only have three attempts on the bouncy castle that's that was the extent of my trip to milton Keynes. I got to see some robots. I got to do many fun things, but <laughs> on the bouncy castle, I had three attempts. Backflip, then a 360. Just seemed logical to me. Do a backflip, do a 360. Yeah. Third go, we're going for the flat spin. I've always okay. wanted to learn flat this spin. This is a bucket list trick. This is a bucket list trip for me. You watch mm. Ethan now, you watch even, I watch, um, you know, any, any of the Fedco, Matt Jones, I watch any of these guys doing flat spins, and it looks to me like... It's the one of the. It's a better way to spin a big jump. Like I hate, I, I hate the worry about over rotating big jumps on spins, mm -hmm. and I hate the worry about slowing something down. It's a horrible feeling if you've not done it. Spinning a big jump feels okay. like almost. It feels almost like it feels like you're having to commit to something that you really have no business committing to. Almost, you know? Do you know what I mean? Spinning slowly, quite a weird I, thought. No, I don't spin. No, no okay. spins in the no spins in the trick catalog. Is there more of a with the with a regular spin? Is there more of like a blind spot? I feel like. Or yeah, not? there is, and 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 really, you don't have as much control as if you're upside down. Because if you're in a flip, you can you can make the shape bigger or smaller depending on how fast you want the rotation to go. In a spin, mm -hmm. you go bigger or smaller. It doesn't change. It's all done off the lip. So you have to get it right. Otherwise, you're in for a big old high side. I'd always rather under-rotate than over-rotate, but I always right. end up over-rotating. Anyway, blah, blah, okay. blah. I want to mm. look like uh, one of those guys spinning. And yeah. I feel like it's like a cool thing to do on a big bike. Big bikes are very hard to spin normally. It's like okay. a 2D shape, and you've got a long bike, a long wheelbase. You end up hitting the lip. It's just not, it's not cool. I want to do upside down spins, dude. I've always mm -hmm. wanted to do them. Never been able to do them. It pisses me off. So third go on the bouncy castle. Your boy does an upside down spin. That that he does. Kind of. It kind of looks like it could be on the way to a flat spin. And then just at the end, just at the end, we got an extra little 180. Turns it into a flare, <laughs> or whatever it turns it into. I get bucked off the side of the bouncy castle. It looks like a joke, fun crash. But I'm basically like seven foot up, upside down, falling off a bouncy castle. And at that point in time, I feel very old. I feel very old, very, very achy, very, very much have no business being there. So I landed, hurt my heel, and that was the end of my bouncy castle experience. So oh, there you go. Man. Phone pits Please. aren't safe, bouncy castles aren't safe, airbags aren't safe, none of it's safe. And people are going to want to see the clip. So should we insert the clip let's, let's here? Insert the clip. Let's, let's insert, insert, the clip. insert the clip here. Yes! Oh, 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 my God! Oh, I think it was going right. I'm not messing with the airbag. <laughs> Man, that was tough to of see you take a hit like that. But... No, it was it was a wicked day. It's it's always so cool to see um, 
so Matt, Ben, and Jamie. Uh, yep. Ben is the Ben Ben Gristy does the filming, and then Jamie does a lot of the building on at the playground. So, and obviously in mountain biking at the minute, there aren't many sort of like series of, especially on YouTube, that are as exciting as yeah. this. Is this is yeah. the dream, dude? Did you enjoy this clip? If so, please like and subscribe. The full episode is available by hitting one of the links on the screen right now, or type The Ride Companion into your favourite podcast app. We've even put links in the show description for you. Cheers!